so long as public health mitigation strategies continue, fever may be our only clue. And that now more likely, these are the infections we are looking for. A new study reveals startling numbers of bacterial infections in feverish babies during the pandemic. It says while viral infections were down as were visits to the ER, with parents staying away from hospitals due to COVID, the number of serious bacterial infections in infants doubled. So because the background noise of all those other viral infections was decreased, when an infant presents with fever, the number of infections didn't change at all. So there was a major decrease in the number of viral infections and the number of infants coming to the emergency department. But when they have fever, they now more likely had the infections that we worry the most about. The study from the Montreal Children's Hospital shows that from March 2020 to March 2021, the number of visits at the ER for infants decreased by two thirds, but the number of serious bacterial infections like urinary tract infections or bacterial meningitis went from about 10 to almost 20% of cases. And life-threatening invasive bacterial infections like bacterial bacteriemia and bacterial meningitis tripled during the same period. The majority, for over 30 years, 90% of those infants have had viral illnesses that resolve on their own and are not dangerous. However, it's the 10% that we worry about. Doctors say the spike in serious bacterial infections observed during the pandemic is concerning because little babies are vulnerable to infection because their immune systems are not sufficiently developed and parents need to stay more vigilant as with fewer viruses circulating because of public health measures like social distancing and mask wearing, fever could now be a sign of a more severe infection. So even in the face of a viral illness, COVID or otherwise, these infants are still at risk for the infections we care about. And that number is also higher than usual. In Montreal, Melina Jabalaro, City News.